life gang all my youtubers facebookers hurricane drivers there it is man hurricane drivers we got this bad boy all done we're moved in and now uh got a trailer hooked up about to go get loaded up with two loads i gotta go to uh gentry arkansas over to simmons and pick up a load and then go down to broken broken uh bow oklahoma to pick up the second part of my load going to cp distribution over in uh phoenix arizona at 401 west watkins uh road over there in good old phoenix so uh we about to get up out of here guys and go handle our business and do our thing get this ball rolling let's look inside right quick got no low locks so i gotta get a couple of low locks from over by the shop get a couple of low locks over by the trailer shop there's the number to call man come and get your fresh ride got a fresh truck man oh man this thing is thing is wonderful man i'm loving it already got a good trailer probably gonna be under this trailer for a while but i have to deliver over in uh phoenix on friday morning so uh definitely gonna get that done and uh this bad boy need a bath probably gonna get a bath sometime soon probably not on the way home but look at them lights down there Little the watermelon lights up top so uh let's get this number 49 started guys yes sir up guys me and my old lady just made it over here to Simmons uh, we're here to pick up half of the load and then go down to Broken Bow Oklahoma and pick up the rest look at that dash man all digital that's a digital dash right there real nice this thing is it's laid out guys man we got we got everything stored and put away man my old lady is a genius when it comes to storing stuff, you know, so it's like being at home, man. It's like being at home. Man, I'm gonna miss the green machine. The green machine did us right from day one. Uh, the only problem we ever had with that truck was that time it had to go over to the Peterbilt for them to redo the rear end on it. And, uh, and that's when we hopped in the Skittles, the purple and orange one. If y'all remember that, if not, go back and watch those videos on that one. But um, that was the only problem we ever had with that truck, man. Other than that, that truck was phenomenal. I'm gonna miss you, Green Machine. I love you. Whoever gets that truck that comes into this company, you're gonna be lucky to have that truck because that is a good truck. Plus, I got a lot of notoriety in that truck and I appreciate everybody subscribing and all of that to the channel and stuff like that. But um, we're over at Simmons. When you get here, there's a, uh, there's a guard shack on the other side of that container there. I can't see it. Uh, it beeps when it, when it lets you know that uh, the time is running out for the idle to shut off. Okay, anyway, when you come in, it's a guard shack on the other side down there, on the other side of that container there, where that bobtail is at. And you stop there, and then you sign in there, and then you pull around over this way, stop right there by the container, and then you walk into the office right there, the shipping office, driver, driver entrance, walk into there, and uh, sign in there, and leave them your phone number and they'll call you when they have a door for you or the yard dog will the guy on the yard dog will come over and let you know what door to back into once you back into your door um 
you're just waiting to get loaded so we're just here right now waiting on the door and then uh, once we get loaded and get out of here we'll head we'll be heading over to broken bow oklahoma to pick up the load over there the rest of the load over there and start heading home with it um my dm asked me this morning uh was i up for dropping it off on friday i told him no problem man i'll go ahead and drop it off he's you know i don't mind uh helping out my dm so i'll leave the house probably like about six or seven that evening and take off and get on over there to phoenix and drop this load off but man this thing is nice got all your, your gauges there got gauges here um the steering wheel is nice you know it's got a bunch of stuff on it just letting y'all check it out man as we go um i still gotta put my antennas on it uh it still got the factory antennas on it i got some wilson antennas to put on it and uh i gotta put my spike lug nut covers on it and stuff like that i got my uh stickers i want to put on it so um those will be other videos that i do so you guys just be patient and we definitely got to change that thing out definitely we definitely got to change you out we got to get a little a little height on you there but uh we'll get back with you guys when we get over to broken bow and pick up that part of the load and start heading home yes sir be safe guys what up all my people we just got loaded over here at simmons and now we're about to take off to we'll get the second part of the load down there in broken bow oklahoma we're going to broken bow oklahoma get the second part so we get try to get home man We'll holler at y'all a little bit. And uh, you guys be safe. Join the winning team right there. Come on with it, man. I can't say it enough. Yes, sir. Hey, what's, what's up, guys? Just want to check in with y'all right quick. We came over here to Workman Truck Stop. Over here, exit 24 on 49, on I-49 here in Arkansas. Um, and got fuel with the muff flap here at Workman. Just saved myself. $89.28. Man, I could live with that. Uh, using the mud flap, the fuel was $301. Uh, the regular price of it, I think, was uh, $370 or something like that. I saved like $0.69 cents a gallon. So, uh, another mud flap place, man. I use it all the time. And uh, we're here and got that fuel, man. So, if, if you ain't using mud flap, I don't know what's wrong with you, man. You don't want to save no money. You don't want to have no money in your pocket. It's turkey time. It's, it's time to buy presents for Christmas and stuff. Come on, man. You got to eat. You know what I'm saying? So save money and use that mud flap, guys. Yes, sir. What's good, all my people, all my paper chasers for life, my hurricane drivers, all my drivers out there. Uh, we made it over here to the Tyson over here in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. Um, to the left side of that trailer there is a gate. You pull up to that gate on the right-hand side, and that there is the little guard shack right there to your right right there, which would be on your left when you pull in. If you pull there, you pull up to the gate, you get out, and you give them your information your uh, pickup number and they check the they check the uh, fluid just like any Tyson they check the fluid level on your trailer make sure you got enough reefer and uh, and once you do that you come through the gate and there's a truck leaving right now but there's a truck parked right there and I'm parked like a few slots away from him so you park over here and then uh, on the other side, well, right behind those uh, yard dogs there, right behind the yard dogs is the office where you go in and check in with the shipping department. And uh, and then they'll have the yard dog come and get you and let you know what door to back into. And you go from there, guys. So this is where we're at. I don't know how long it's gonna take to get loaded, but, uh, it is what it is. I can't control it. Uh, don't ever think you could control a situation. You don't control a situation. 
all you could do is go in and ask them to make it better. You know, like when I went in there, I told them, you know, I'm picking up the second part of my load and it's gonna get me home for Thanksgiving. So I would appreciate it if you guys could, you know, speed it up. I'm, uh, I only got a little time to drive and I'm trying to get as far as I can get before I do have to shut it down and uh, get home to my family. So um, hopefully they can get me in fast, you know, but I don't control the situation and don't think you can control the situation because sometimes uh, you can make it worse if you get upset, you know, if you go in there with a bad attitude and, and start giving them a hard time, well, guess what? Your ass is gonna sit. You know, if you go in there with the right attitude, a positive attitude, you talk to people nice, how you want people to talk to you, then they might can help your situation out. So hopefully they can help out my situation because y'all know me, I'm positive. I talk to people the way I want to be talked to. And uh, hopefully we can get up out of here, hurry up and get up out of here and get this ball rolling so we can get home tomorrow to our family. So uh, with that being said, guys, uh, we'll get back with y'all once we go way out the load. After we get loaded here, we'll go way out the load. We'll stop somewhere and way out the load, and we'll get back with y'all then. Yes, sir. What up, all my people? What up? What up? Uh, this is your boy G Dog. Hopefully, y'all having a good day, a good morning. It is Wednesday morning. Hope y'all on the way home to enjoy your turkey day. We're on our way home to enjoy our take a day, our turkey day. Um, we're here at the Loves here in Mount Vernon, Texas. Exit 147 here on I-30. Let's zoom in so y'all can see that. Mount Vernon, Texas. And my weight is 12,800 on the stairs, 28,700 on the drives 32,800 on the trailer so what i'm going to do is slide it back five holes which would be 2,000 pounds so it'll make me 30,700 on the drives and 30,800 on the trailer so only 100 pounds difference so we can live with that uh we're gonna live with that and uh look at the total weight pay attention to that 75 75,300 so that'll be great man that's good you know so no worries on that so we're gonna slide it back five holes so let's put that down show y'all all our trailers you don't have the little arms on them where you have to struggle to try to get it unlocked I'll show you guys that we have a my air system back here and there it is right there and you just pull that out and your arms just pop in man you just pop in you might have to rock the truck a little bit but we're gonna go back five holes so right now it's in the california hole the white hole there is in there so we're gonna go one two three we're gonna go one two three four five we're gonna put it right there. I already marked it with a little spit, you know. Gotta have a little spit, a little elbow grease. Marked it right there, five holes, and then we'll be good to go, guys. So um, we're gonna get it slid, and we're gonna get up out of here. We'll try to get as close to home tonight as we can get. We won't actually be home until tomorrow because of my hours, but uh, we'll get it done, man. So we'll holler back at y'all when we get stopped. And uh, we'll go from there. Join the winning team, man. Can't say it enough. Been talking to a lot of drivers, thinking about coming over here. And uh, hopefully you guys get on over here, man. Join the family. And get out here and start making this paper, man. Uh, if, uh, if you don't, then, you know, that's you're missing out. But join the winning team, man. It's, it's here, man. The paper is here. Love the truck. The new truck is badass. It rides smooth. Everything is good with it. And uh, we're just loving life right now, man. Loving it. And, and doing our thing out here. So uh, we'll get back with you guys when we get stopped for the night. Yes, sir. See what your boy rocking, man. Rocking that same skill. Always. Yes, sir.
Good morning, all my YouTubers, Facebookers, Hurricane drivers, drivers of America, truckers of America. Man, 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 this thing is all lit up. Uh, we made it over here to the receiver over here, the CP distribution. Uh, when you get here, uh, you make a right into the gate there, and then you pull up and stop and get out and uh, go into the office and uh, let them know you're here. And then from there, uh, they'll have you wait. Uh, I'm just waiting for that bobtail to pull out of the middle door back there. Y'all can see that bobtail, that, that little white bobtail sitting there, sitting right there. I'm just waiting for him to get out of the door so I can uh, back in there and uh, we'll get this thing unloaded, man. But Nola is all lit, lit up. Man, she light up the whole damn lot over here. Looks amazing. Love this truck, man. And uh, once we finish here, then we're going back home, man. We're going home and call it a day, man. All right, so uh, that's going to end it for this video, guys. Number 49 is knocked out. We've got it done. You know what it is, man. You know what I say. Wash your hands, wash your ass, wear your mask. Uh, protect yourself against this damn COVID. Uh, but take your loved ones. I'm out here walking Miss Bailey too, man, while we got a spare minute. Um, but take yourself. Look out for your family. Look out for your loved ones, your friends. And uh, let's just all stay safe, man. We can beat this thing. Let's all stay safe. Let's stay positive. Um, let's help each other out if we need to. And um, just show each other love, man. Show each other love. I appreciate all the support y'all show me. I want to give a shout out to uh, my boy Woody. He hit me up the other day. What's up, Woody? Yeah, man. What's up to everybody else? Um, I, I just give uh, thanks to everybody, man, for subscribing to the channel, following me, man. And uh, yes, sir, we got some things coming for uh, Nola here. We got some things coming. She gonna be right. She already right, but she gonna be she gonna be real tight, man. Y'all just stay tuned to that. I got some things for her already, and uh, we're going to get to those things, and we ain't going to rush it. We're going to take our time with it. That way, uh, that way, uh, you don't want to do everything at once, man, but uh, y'all just stay tuned for that, and we'll see y'all on the next one, number 50, baby. It's going to be number 50 when we come back out. Number five zero, man. Wow, 50 lows with this company already, man. I've been here... Uh, almost seven months and uh, it's been great man it's been it's been a joy and uh, hard work does pay off I finally got my baby she looking right she looking tight and uh, we'll see y'all on the next one until then this your boy G dog out peace out my people y'all be safe man God bless y'all yes sir